Good morning, everyone. It is AM Saturday here. I am just feeling a little draggy this morning. I'm dragging. I'm drinking the worst, most disgusting protein shake because I ran out of my normal ones and had to buy something else. But it's all good because today we are going to be talking about and going through cat eyeliner. How to do the cat eye, how to do liquid liner in that cat look. I don't have anything on my face yet. All right, so we're going to get started on our eyes now. Let's first always, always, always begin by prepping your face and prepping your eyes. So I like to do, when I'm doing a really intense or kind of heavier smoky eye or something, something where I'm gonna be actually really doing something with my eyes, I like to do my eyes first before my foundation. And the reason for that is, and you're gonna notice this as I make more videos and you see me making tutorial videos, I do this a lot. I like to do it that way because it makes it easier to clean things up before moving on to the next step. So what that means is you can get eyeshadow fallout everywhere because you're doing your eye and then you're just gonna take a Q-tip, roll it with some lotion in it, some moisturizer, and then you can just use it to clean it, clean it. And then you've got perfectly cleaned eyes if you're doing it the right way, right? And you're, you can create kind of that harsher line. Um, this is just a little trick. It will save you some time. Sure, I could spend all day trying to get it perfect, trying to, you know, put just a little bit of shadow at a time and just doing things incrementally. Um, but I am lazy and I like to just throw that stuff on there, clean it up, move on with my day. All right, enough about that. So let's start by prepping your skin. I'm gonna start with moisturizer. I actually really, really love Ambrolis, which I'm probably really not pronouncing correctly at all because it's French. Ambrolis, I, I, just ignore me, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Moisturize your whole face. Get it everywhere. I'm going back in for more. I need it. My face is so dry. I fell asleep with my makeup on last night, washed it off this morning, went back to bed for 30 minutes, and here we are. Don't fall asleep with your makeup on. But we all do it from time to time. Fell asleep on the couch watching the funniest show. So, happens sometimes, you know? It happens. All right. Let's get the neck nice and good too. Oh yeah. All right. So we've got our face prepped and it, I washed it obviously prior to this because <laughs> as you know, I fell asleep with my makeup on last night. Now, the next step is to make sure that you add and use an eye primer. I was going through some of my stuff and I actually was checking out even in my kit to see what some of the products were that I wanted to recommend on this um, recording. And I don't have a, I really don't have a recommendation. <laughs> Unfortunately for eye primer because I use a lot of different ones. Um, I love I guess I can recommend. I love the Tarte Shape Tape Eye Primer. It's really, really good. I have also used the Sephora brand eye primer, a number of other ones, but I found a little sample for this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It says it's anti-crease eyeshadow primer, but I feel that I have used this before and didn't love it. So I figured, you know what, let's use it today and see if that was the case, what the deal is, why do I have so many eye primers. So this eye primer is actually a tinted eye primer, so it has some color to it. You can see it's like a little bit more like a concealer kind of color tone to it. So let's throw that on. 
throw that primer on y'all do the other side And they always say to use your ring finger because they, uh, they say that your ring finger applies the, the least amount of pressure. Um, I'm sure that you, you have probably heard about people saying don't pull, don't pull your skin because it'll make it wrinkly and all that kind of stuff. You're definitely going to see me pulling my skin. I just am very harsh with my face, I think, in that way. I would rather have a straight and perfect eyeliner line by pulling my eyelid different directions to get the eyeliner into every crevice then swipe it across and have it be jutty and not straight I don't know so I guess you have to decide if it's true what they say about the wrinkles then you have to decide whether you would rather have wrinkles or straight eyeliner. <laughs> I guess that's it so the next thing that I'm going to do is add some eyeshadow first because obviously, you know, you want the cat eye to look good against something, right? Um, I was going to do more of a smoky eye, but now that I'm recording this video, I'm feeling something different. Uh, I had found this Laura Geller like duo eyeshadow palette, and I also came across, this is what I find when I look actually look through my makeup. I found a, a Bare Minerals one that looked pretty cool, but I'm feeling like it's Saturday and I don't need to look like I'm going to prom. So we're going to use this palette, which I have used in the past and just do, just do some, some simple stuff. This is what the colors look like. This is a really pretty palette. I wish that the shimmery colors were not what they are. I wish that they stuck and adhered a little bit better because they don't, but whatever, we're gonna go matte anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to be starting with the color Married Life, kind of uh, convenient for me, or what's the right word for this? Kind of funny and ironic since I'm a uh, newlywed in this married life all over the eye. So this is a very neutral color and we're just gonna go all over the eye with this color. And you see that I'm holding my eyelids down because I don't have the reflexes to keep them completely closed for you this whole time. I go like this. This is the easiest thing that you could possibly do with your eyes. You're gonna love this actually. I'm glad I'm glad that I didn't go smoky eye. But do you see how adding just that amount of eyeshadow made this eye look go whoop and look way smaller than this one? We're gonna bring it back. Okay? Well first we're gonna make this eye look smaller and then and then we're gonna bring it back. So just eyeshadow, this light lighter color. This is more of a, I would consider this to be almost flesh colored for me. It's very similar to my skin color. So choose a color that's similar to your skin tone. That's about the same, you know, in the same family. That's going to look natural. That's what this is going for. Because when we create our cat eye, we want the cat eye to be the focus when we get to that part. So just eyeshadow all over. All right, great. We've got our base, you can see. Now, we are going to add some more color to the top part. Looking for my handy dandy looser brush that looks like this. This is called the Soft Focus Eyeshadow Brush. This is a Bare Minerals brush. This first one, I have mentioned uh, in previous video, I've had this for a thousand years. I think it's from Mary Kay. But this brush, Spare, uh, Bare Essentials Soft Focus Eyeshadow Brush, it's got an interesting, it's kind of tight, tighter, but a little bit looser towards the top. 
And what I like to do is I grab a little bit of the colors Tea Time and High School Sweetheart, just literally like a pat on one, like this. So I'll go, do, do, just like that. Just a little bit of color on there. And then I'm gonna come into the crease and really just blend this into the crease. Okay, so let's start on this side. I'm gonna start on the edge and work my way work my way across so dot dot just like that let's see the other side dot dot now you can bring this to whatever level you want okay so I could leave it at this level this is if you could see it's just a little bit of brightness for the eye um, I should have mentioned previously the reason that I'm choosing these colors is I personally like the orangier tones for blue eyes they tend to make blue eyes appear bigger so if you have blue eyes look for kind of that orange undertone to it or even a color that has orange in it uh, a nectarine color. I know it sounds weird and you're probably like orange eyeshadow. I have no idea what you're talking about or why you would recommend this. But I will show you an example really quick because I have my kit sitting right next to me and I use this palette on brides all the time. And this color right here is what I'm talking about. I don't know the name of the color because it's in this palette and I had picked everything and stuck it in there and it doesn't have it, they pop out anyway this particular color looks amazing with blue eyes and you can see next to what I have going here that this is a totally different tone but it's coming out with orange undertones on me so let me take off that liner real quick okay so the liner is off all right so we've got turn it like this we've got this color and this color are the ones that I'm using do you see that they look like browns next to this orangey color do you see how they kind of have some similar undertone to them but now look at it on my face and how much more orangey it looks right so you just got to play with colors to see what looks best with your eyes in particular. And if you are someone with blue eyes or green eyes or brown eyes, there are colors that accent every color eye. I can actually make a video about that if you are interested in it. But for now, let's finish out these eyes. I just wanted to say a quick word about what I was doing. So for you, if your eyes are a different color, you may choose to do a different tone in this area, but I'm going to keep going with this brown. They're browns, but they have an orange undertone to them. So let's throw it in there. And also, of course, what's underneath it makes a little bit of a difference. The fact that I have the super whitest skin possible <laughs> makes everything appear in a different way than it would if I, you know, had a tan or was tan or had olive skin. But and this is what I've got. So this is what we're working with. So let's add a little bit more shadow to the crease here. I'm going to, you know, I want to bring it up to a nice level. Okay. All right. So I think that this is a good level for me. For today, like I said, not going crazy. I mean, I'm not going, in, I, I think I still have to, supposedly, my husband and I are supposed to work out. So we'll see about that. I've got to go to the motorsports place and figure out what I'm going to do with my bike. It needs some work done. That's what I got to do today. So I'm, I'm putting on my makeup to go around a bunch of motorcycle rats and they're going to be like, who's this chick? What does she what does she want story of my life it's okay and yes for those that don't know I ride 
a Honda 600RR. She is my fourth Honda 600RR, so yeah, a fan, a little bit of a fan. All right, so now we are going to take some of the married life again and just go back over where it overlapped because what I want to do is create a solid lid, color in the crease, and then we're going to highlight above it so that when you look at it, the brightness comes through here and you've got your color in the crease. So just go back over just the lid because we want to bring this light color as the main focus. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna go throw some on the top now to really blend it all together. Okay, easy breezy. Perfect. Okay, so we've got it in there and you can see I have extra here that I mentioned. We're gonna clean all that up at the end. So let's get rid of this palette and let's start talking about eyeliner. All right, so there are a couple of options for you with uh, liquid eyeliners. There are, there's a couple options, but I'm really gonna go through the ones that I think are going to work best and the easiest if you're a beginner and if you're just getting started or if you're really looking to perfect the craft and what you're trying to accomplish, we can do that. So I have here the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is, all, both are in black. Both of the, or all the colors I'm gonna use in eyeliner are gonna be black for today. The Kat Von D one, let's put it here like this. As you can see, it is a felt tip pen. Now, this felt tip pen is, I was grabbing a paper towel. This felt tip pen is not very flexible. It's pretty rigid. So just to show you what that looks like on my test paper here, it doesn't have a lot of kind of bendability to it. So this makes it nice. It makes it easy for it to kind of glide across. So I like this one a lot. The other one that I like and use a lot is by Lorac. I don't know what the heck is going on with Lorac. They used to be at Sephora and then Ulta and they pulled out and are in, now you can find it at Kohl's. Um, I did some research online and it sounds like they were purchased by a holding company and it just kind of uh, changed the way that it appears in the marketplace. Whatever the case is, this is a great liquid eyeliner. This is the Lorac Front of the Line Pro. This one is also in black. And what I like about this one is that it has more flexibility than the Kat Von D option. Um, both I like, but this one, you can see it bends and flexes a lot. It actually is made up of a bunch of tiny little, tiny little um, fibers, essentially, where the other one is more like a felt tip pen. The other one is more felt tip, this one is more flexible. So if you wanna start somewhere, these are great ones to for beginners to start trying to do a cat eye with. Uh, I was gonna recommend and just show you guys this MAC one that I have that you use with a brush, but it is that's not something that you're gonna to wanna to start doing from the beginning, you, if, unless you really wanna torture yourself. It's hard, it takes a lot of practice. So we're not gonna do that one today. We're not gonna talk about that. And then I wanted to also open up because I got this, uh, I have this kit here that I haven't opened and it supposedly has an eyeliner in it. This is from Tarte and I've been really loving Tarte lately. I've been trying all of their products and seeing kind of just what their line is about. I'm looking for healthier brands and healthier options for makeup and I like some of the, uh, values that tar that Tarte is putting out into the marketplace. So if you're watching this video and you represent a brand that 
cares about the ingredients that are in their products, send me a message, please. Talk to me about the product. I want to know. I am looking for the best stuff. I only want to use the best stuff on my face and on my clients' faces. And I am sure that you feel the same. If you found out that something had poison in it, you probably wouldn't use it on your face unless you like poison, but I don't like poison. So I prefer to only use great products on my face. And I started diving into skincare and making my own products recently. And I refuse to buy anything that is not, like I don't know where it was grown. I don't know like who, who picked this, who made this. I wanna know everything about ingredients because I think that it is so important. We only have one body we only have one life and it's important that we treat our bodies the best that we possibly can. So with that said, as much as I love Kat Von D and I think that she's great, as a person, I don't know how I feel about the ingredients and in the products and a lot of the products that I'm going to be using. So I just want you guys to know that right now, as I'm recording this video, I'm using a lot of stuff. And I'm also looking for other options and other alternatives because I think that this is a larger conversation to be had. All right, so I'm gonna shut up now. And this is the Tarte Man Eater Eyeliner. I literally just opened this kit, so I don't even know what it looks like, but it's pretty cool. It actually looks like the Lorac one. It is, it's just like the Lorac one. So Tarte's eyeliner has the small fibers like the Lorac eyeliner, so that's pretty cool. I almost wonder if I should use this just to see, but I've never used it before. <laughs> so let's actually start, we're gonna start with the Kat Von D because I think that it is probably the easiest option starting out because of the way that it is. So you're gonna wanna start, I mean, first of all, actually, let me, let me start by saying there is no right or wrong way to put on eyeliner or any sort of makeup. You can do anything that you want because it's your face and it's your life, first of all. But I want you to know that what I say, there's gonna be someone else that says, don't say, don't do it that way, do it a different way. Um, I'm just showing you how, how I personally apply product, how I like to apply product. If you think that it's ridiculous, then it's ridiculous. But we all have kind of our own little methods. So I'm gonna show you from my perspective the easiest way for me personally to put on eyeliner. I use eyeliner almost every day. I do a cat eye almost every day. My makeup routine when I'm doing a cat eye takes longer than when I don't. It definitely adds some time. So when I'm doing makeup in the morning, it's usually taking about 15, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes to do a look if it has eyeliner with it. I, I can get ready in five to 10 if I'm not doing eyeliner because eyeliner, you have to take your time and do things the right way. So that's why I like to start from the inside. I like to basically make the line first before I get into the cat part of the cat eye. And first, I'm just gonna kinda feather out my eyelashes because I got a lot of eyeshadow on them. Let's just kind of clean those off real quick before you get going with this. So we're I'm going to hold my eyelashes down just so that I don't blink or move. So you're gonna see me doing this a lot on both of my eyes. I hold the eyelashes down. Again, a lot of people say don't pull, don't pull, you're gonna get wrinkles. So I'm gonna be really wrinkly because I really pull and hold. Um, from time to time to make sure that I'm getting it right. So I'm just gonna hold this down. And as you can see, I actually kind of started in the middle just to find the thickness that I want for this particular liner today. So that's probably about, it's about the width that I want. So I'm gonna go back in and hopefully you can see that okay. It's a little bit awkward to do. I'm gonna bring this mirror I have closer to you. All right, so now I'm gonna go into closer to the middle. Okay, 
perfect. All right, so what I have here now is just, just the liner from here to here. There's no cat eye yet. And you can see it's pretty straight. I focused on getting it pretty straight. I'll close for you normally so you can kind of see what that looks like. And now I may go in and say, oh my God, I didn't get it close enough to the base here. So I got to kind of like get it in between my lashes. So that's why I say it, it makes it easier when you can hold your lashes down. Um, it allows you to do that a little bit more. So let's do the other side first before we do the cat eye and then we'll get to the wing, the winged part. So again, I'm going to start from the middle. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that's the liner part of it. No wing, no wing. Now, something that I wanna point out to everybody because you're gonna run into this when you're doing your cat eye and you're gonna get pissed off. Your eyes are not the same. No two parts of your body are exactly symmetrical. One of your legs is longer than the other leg. One of your arms is longer than the other arm. The same thing goes for the sides of your face. And even if you look at my nose, the each side of my nose is a little bit different. My eyebrows are different. My eyes, the shape of your eyes. So here's what's gonna happen to you because this is what happens to everybody. One of your eyes is going to come out perfect. Every time, it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be this beautiful wing Oh my God, it's the most amazing wing you ever had. And then you're gonna do your other eye and it's gonna look like the worst winged eyeliner that you've ever done in your life. Because that's just how it goes. So just know that's normal and then you can fix it, you can clean it up, you can redo it, you can actually take that lotioned Q-tip and bring it back, put some product back underneath it and then try again, that's okay. And just a note right there for what I just said, if you take lotion and you remove the cat eye that extends from here to here with lotion, you have to remember that you have to prime it again, put product back on it before you try to put eyeliner on it because otherwise that eyeliner is not gonna stick and it's gonna be crazy and you're gonna go insane and you're gonna be like, why is this not working? So now let's wing it. You ready? This is so, so simple. Everyone has a different method. Some people like to kind of create the line by going like this first and they'll say, all right, I want it to come from here up like that. So some people will do it like that. And what is nice about that is that you can control that you're getting the same on each side. So if I were to do it that way and I come to this side and I'm I'm actually looking at myself in a mirror that's right here so that I can get the angle because what you're doing is you're essentially looking at it and going, okay, it's going to go like this. So you can do it that way. All right. And then after you've done it that way, that's when you're going to come back out and build it. I'm I guess, you know what, I'll do the whole thing. I was gonna do them different ways to show you, but now I'm nervous that they're gonna come out completely uneven, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and create that same angle on the other side. Of course, no eyeliner is coming out now. Jinxed myself. Okay, so looking, 
straight ahead, they, when I'm looking, they're at the same angle. Now, of course, you can see that they look like crap, right? I just literally, all I did was create the line, and now we're gonna fill it. So now what you're gonna do is come back in, and you're seeing me pull this because I want it to be straight. I don't want it to be crooked and get stuck in the lines and the cracks, right? So what I'm gonna do is pull this and then swipe down, okay? So I created the bottom line. Now I need to finish the top part of it because it's not, if you look close, it's not completely finished. So now I'm gonna go on the top. And swipe it across. Okay, you see how, see how that looks? It needs to be filled in a little bit more, but at least we have a baseline now to start to go do the other side. So, same thing, I'm gonna start on that bottom line, get the bottom line nice and filled in. And then I'm gonna to go to the top part of the cat eye, which is up here, and just swoop that back over. So I'm shaking this eyeliner again because I think I'm running out. So I'm sorry that I'm gonna block with my hand a little bit to pull my eyelid. You can always use the back of your hand to kind of get the flow going again. Sometimes it also gets clogged up with eyeshadow and other types of product. Okay. All right. Not not too bad for uh for all this pressure. Okay, so we've got, now we've got our winged eye, that's it. That's that's literally the easiest way to do it. Um, some of the other methods that people use, sometimes people will use scotch tape. And basically what you do is you'll take a piece of scotch tape, put it on the back of your hand, because the skin that's around your eyes is very sensitive. I don't ever use that method because I have really sensitive eyes. And if I were to do that, so basically what you do, take the scotch tape, you put it against your hand to kind of take some of the stickiness away so it's not as sticky. And then you would place it at the angle that you want for your eye. And when you're done, you take it off. It's for me, the taking it off makes my eyes water and then I, my eyes water for 20 minutes, 30 minutes and I just ruined everything that I just did. So I don't like that method, but it's a method that you could use when you first are getting started. And, Basically, you put that tape there, you create the bottom line, and then you go on to the top to bring it back, swoop it back over to the lid. That's one method. Another way that you can do a winged eye is to not do that first line to begin with. And what you actually do is you just take this from the end and then start to extend, pull it out that way, and then when you have your eye open, you're gonna bring it back in. Those are some of the methods that, that you can use to create your winged eyeliner, but this is the easiest method for me. You do the first part of your eye, stop before you get to the edges, take the liner, create the bottom line, create the matching bottom line, and then just fill it in. And that's the easiest. Um, also something to consider is that you're gonna have different lines, you're gonna have different wrinkles around your eyes than I am because you're a different person than me, you're not me. So your face is going to be different. And what you'll find is that you may need to hold it to create everything, but then when you let everything go, all of the lines fall back into place and your cat eye doesn't look like a clean cat eye like this. Sometimes that happens to me too where I'll pull it and I'll make everything and then I let it go and it's like, oh my God, where, what was I doing? It looks crazy. That's when you're going to want to go back over it without pulling your skin. So when you have it, if you see that, okay, so for example, I have very hooded eyes 
And what that means is that this skin on the brow bone, it goes over, it folds over the other portion of my eye. So like this, you can see it, but when you're like this, you actually can't even see what's on my eyelid because my eyes are hooded. So because my eyes are hooded, I have a little bit of an issue in this corner sometimes. So if you come in real close, you'll see, hmm, from this angle, it doesn't look completely smooth and like a winged eye should or like you want it to. So that's when I would go in, like if I was gonna go out or something like that and I wanted a bigger winged eye, I would say, all right, I gotta put my face at all the different angles to get in there and fill in all the little crevices. And sometimes it's even just the top part. Sometimes people have a hard time with this corner right here and you have to actually do it with your eye not pulled. So for an example, as an, just as an example, to do it for you, it would be, I'm looking at my eye and just swiping up the top of it, okay? The key here is just practice. Practice, play around with it, do it a bunch of times, mess around, and do it every day. If you do it every day, and you know what? Maybe even start with just doing from here to here and not doing the wing at first. Start with that, do just a little bit of a wing. You can also do a baby wing, which is only out to, you know, maybe here. You could just do it to there. That looks really cool. So start with little wing, and then gradually you can build it out until you feel comfortable and confident with it. Um, something else to consider is the way that it looks when your eyes are closed. Sometimes you'll see, especially on Instagram, the eyeliner where it like almost, it's like round at the top and then it swoops back down. That's a really cool method and it looks great when your eyes are open, but that's not something that you're gonna do every single day. And this is something that if you wanted to do every day, you could because it's not a difficult method for doing a winged eyeliner. So I hope that this tutorial on winged eyeliner has been helpful for you and that you feel empowered to go out there and test it out and try and see what you can do. Again, try the different pens to see what works for you. You may even consider doing the brush method with a pot of liquid lip, um, eyeliner as you get down the road, because it can be really, honestly, it can be easier because you don't have to go through as many times. Sometimes you can just get it in one swipe, but it's one of those things that you have to practice with. So I hope that this has been helpful. I'm going to finish the rest of my face. You can see what it all looks like when it comes together when this video is done. So I'll see you at the end. All right, so I just wanted to take a quick minute to stop real quick to show you how I clean up underneath the eyes when I'm done. I decided to go back through with the Tarte Man Eater eyeliner that was new. I freaking screwed up on this side and had to, I had to like work to get it back. So it just goes to show how easy it is to screw it up when you are doing a winged eyeliner. And you know, it's fixable. It's fixable. This is my eye that is the one that's always wrong and this is the one that always comes out fine, by the way, in case you were wondering. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of lotion in my palm, take that Q-tip, roll it in the lotion. And then sometimes I like to use my index finger just to roll it up a little bit more. And then I just come in here and swipe it clean. See, it's getting the stuff on there. Boom, create that line, right? And you'll notice I used white eyeliner on my, on my waterline. It helps to make your up eyes appear bigger, white. So when all the makeup is done, it's gonna look brighter and bigger. And look at that, I got lotion in my hair. Let's do the other eye real quick. This is a wonky, this is what I call a wonky Q-tip. 
Got a little bit of extra, <laughs> but that's okay. It's actually not okay. I'm going to use a new one. Just squeeze right in here create that line now if let's say I had let's say that I had had a blunt edge to the end of here you can actually use your q-tip to make that edge sharper but the ends of these turned out fine so it all worked out And that's how you clean it up. Okay. Finishing the face. Now I'll see you again. All right, this is the finished look. So you can see what this looks like. It's not too crazy. This is not like a, this is something that I would wear on a daily basis to go to work or something like that. Um, you can see we've got just a pretty basic cat eye, pretty basic winged eye, nothing too crazy. Went lighter with the eyeshadow. I'm glad we did because otherwise I would have been a little bit too out there for the activities that are today. And this is what the simple cat eye looks like. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you enjoyed this look.